if you were walking through a desert and you were thirsty, you may have a hallucination that we call a mirage of an oasis. And the Course in Miracles is your oasis. You're hallucinating a book now <laughs> in this crazy, impossible situation of a world. And you need help to extract from impossibility, to return to inevitability, eternity. Yeah, David has just been a, an example of one who I feel has completely transcended the ego. You can train your mind to escape an impossible situation. And wouldn't you want to do it if you could? Wouldn't that be a good application of effort if you could escape time and remember eternity? Remember your true home. Remember your true source. It's like when I connect with David in my mind or in, you know, when I'm talking with him or emailing with him, um, it just, it's, it's like it elevates my mind into this very abstract place, which, which feels great because that's our, you know, our true identity, our true, our true nature is abstract. Uh, it's not limited, it's not tiny, it's not concrete, it's it's expansive, it's pure spirit. Jesus says in the Course in Miracles, an untrained mind can accomplish nothing. Hmm, that's good to know from Jesus. Like, give it to me straight. An untrained mind can accomplish nothing. He also says, you are much too tolerant of mind wandering. Hmm, put those two together. You start to realize, wow, he's giving me a curriculum to follow with this book and he's giving me instructions and they're actually really simple instructions and there's only two instructions for the workbook only two don't do more than one lesson a day and as best you can try not to make exceptions to the lesson as you practice when you move through the day uh, it, it seems like there's a journey where we have to forgive and forgive and forgive and follow guidance and practice and practice and we get seem to get closer and closer and and for sure on the you know from the linear perspective that is the way that we experience it but but what David has always emphasized in in some of his deeper talks is that you really don't have to wait that it's available this very instant it will seem initially when the mind is untrained it will take an effort. But if you can put your effort into escaping from this world, wouldn't you do it? If there's a willingness to just go all the way into the mind, to, to let go completely of this world and, and value nothing but the truth, then that experience will be given because our mind is that powerful. Jesus knows we can do this. He did it. He knows it's inevitable for us too. He's just trying to save time and get us moving in the right direction. Yeah, David has just been the symbol in my mind of, of the possibility of enlightenment, that enlightenment is possible right now.